When I think about Mr Foster, I think about all the great times we had together. We always had a lot of fun, whether it was talking about a student, a member of staff, or a particular situation. So in September at school, we had a great hole to fill, and we needed someone to step up to the mark. What, someone from SMT? Oh, no, no, no. You must be joking. Uh, we needed someone with charisma, um, good sense of humour, respected by staff and students alike. It's a pleasure to be working with you, sir, Mr. Wilkes. Of course, this was the man who stepped up to the mark. First time I met Craig, um, I just got the job here and uh, met Craig and he said, I'm not sore about Arsenal beating Southampton and last year's cup final and we had a, had a good chat and a laugh about it. Oh, um, <laughs> well, um, Mr Foster, every time it was Christmas, he used to take us out of lesson to wrap presents for all the staff at the office, which is really nice. We just want to share some of our memories of Craig. Music lover. Ice lollies. Inspiring. Foster, how you doing buddy? Um, listen, a couple of things from me. Uh, your office was above mine and used to have those shocking radio stations. Um, but in particular, in a PE, you were the first one there using the gym, um, getting showered afterwards. Um, miss you loads, mate. Myself and a few colleagues, including Craig, used to play a game called Bad Pay Friday, so these are, these are for this. And uh, part of that was every Friday you had to wear typically a, a bad tie into work. However, Craig managed to uh, be really, really good at this game because he would start warming up every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then of course he would deliver a bad tie on Friday as well. So for Mr. Foster, every day it was a bad tie Friday. He's one of the most amazing people I've met in my life. Um, I wouldn't change anything and he's just so amazing. Craig has always been a really invaluable colleague in terms of helping me with my work, sort of, you know, in terms of, you know, pointing out the SEN issues with the data and that sort of thing and, and giving me new ideas. And our meetings were always so happy and the kids really knew that they were cared for by such, such a group of lovely people and by such a, a lovely leader to us all. Mr Foster was a really friendly guy. He was really funny with all his different ties and he would never say a bad word about anyone. He'd always know how to put a smile on someone's face if they were having a down day. Yeah, Foster, I'm going to miss those lovely ties and um, more importantly, I'm going to miss all your quality refereeing for every difficult Year 11 game that we had. You was on it. Keeping up the play much better than I can do. Well done, cheers for that. Hi Craig. Uh, my first memory of you uh, was in the front office um, when I first got the job and I was going in to give a few details and there you were swinging round on the swivel seat probably pretending to be Mrs Green uh, in your PE kit and uh, I got in your true style uh, lots of questions about who I was etc and so on and quite a bit of banter as well. Um, I was quite taken aback actually, I don't think I'd really met that many staff in other schools that were that friendly. Um, but it was really nice and I was more than happy that I was going to be on your year team. And that was a colleague relationship that lasted for nine years. Okay, ever since I first met Craig, he always struck me as one of the most friendliest, nicest people that I'd ever met. And although I'd arrived in the school just before him, it, all, it seemed as if he was always here. Uh, Craig. I miss you, you're a great friend, a great colleague, uh, and I know how much lots of people missed you. See him as someone very inspiring to me, and I know that he's in a better place right now. Passionate. Hello, good morning. Waving goodbye at home time. Um, I don't really know what to say about Craig. He was possibly the most positive person I ever, ever met in my life. And when he used to come to the office with all these children that had been badly behaved or were struggling, I used to say, what they need, Craig, is not you mollycoddling them, they need a good hiding. And he would look at me and say, no, they're all right. And they always, always were. Um, he was always one of the teachers that you could look up to or ask advice from. And he always made everyone smile with his different ties. Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. You wouldn't send an email. You would come and see us personally, have a chat and have a laugh. You'd turn up at the back of my classroom and take Mickey out of me and you know slap kids on the back of their shoulders while they were trying to talk and when me and my form were doing take 10 you'd be staring through the door and dancing along with us to moves like Jagger 
and also just that you had the belief in me when I said I wanted to work with naughty kids and everybody else went you're mental um, you took me to New Rush Hall um, and that really meant a lot to me. Mr Foster what can I say you're one in a million. Mr Foster was just that guy with the smile on every day every time you saw him. Yeah, Foster, you're always a great person to have around school, always shouting at us down the corridor with abuse, which is always nice any, any time of the day. I um, just wanted to say thank you for always remembering um, the, the birthdays of uh, people in our form class and, you know, they really appreciated you coming along and wishing them a happy birthday. Mr Foster was a really great man, you know, he was always the kind of guy, if you needed to speak to someone about something on your mind, he was always there. Supporter. Agony out. Fashionista, not kind-hearted. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Dutch here, uh, with probably the most amazing memories of 29 years: uh, teaching, family, uh, just laughs all the way. Can't tell you how many great times we had when uh, we started teaching together. Uh, and then the families came along, and then we seemed to all follow each other from school to school. Just the most wonderful memories of the Foster family and the Dutch family together. Mr Foster was a really loving and caring man. He was one of the most inspiring people I knew and I was really sad to hear him pass away. Mr Foster, you were a true gentleman. I can't say enough how many times you got me out of a sticky situation when I was supposed to be emailing my lovely husband. But C Douglas and C Foster are very close together. The number of times I have to say that I asked you, did you want to go out for dinner? Did you want to lift home? What time are we leaving? Yeah, you can imagine it. So thank you, Mr Foster, for being a true gent. We learned a lot from you. Uh, we thought you were a great team leader and we really miss you. Miss the banter about Southampton and football just in general, however, Man United are the best, best forever. <laughs> Hi Craig, I really miss you. In the mornings when you used to knock on my window and say good morning, and you're, you was like a neighbour to me. I miss the last day of term when you come into my assembly and called me over and said you was really proud of me. Craig, I'm going to miss you telling me that I'm late every morning at the gate and miss your smiley face around the corridors. We, we definitely miss you. You were someone you could always go and speak to, have a good joke with, and you'd always come into classes and have a gentle kind of poke of fun with them as well, so it was always amusing. There are so many things that will stay with us for forever in our memories and in our hearts your ability to make us laugh um, at any situation, your lovely sunny smile, your cheery disposition, and just your craigness. One of the things that used to crack you up all the time was saying cat and mouse yeah. every time you came down the English uh, corridor and the joke never tired. And on top of that, when I used to come and see you about really difficult kids like years ago um, you never saw the bad in them you always sort of drew on the positive and you could make me see it from their point of view personally favorite memories of mr foster talking about the football i mean we shared a common thing we both supported teams always lost so as a west ham fan myself he's a big southampton fan a lot of banter there he'd always tell me out what he sang at the games so i'll tell him how i sang great guy cake friend southampton <laughs> Um, some of you may know that during my time at Oaks Park I've fallen pregnant a couple of times and Craig made sure that every single day he would remind me that yes I was pregnant and that my belly was getting big and that my clothes were getting tight so I was actually quite fortunate not only did I have a head of year but I also had someone who was like my PA in fashion. You just sort of being there um, it, uh, it's something that I will miss but I think it's all the kind of um, sort of the, the bullying really, <laughs> you know, the hello little mouse, <laughs> hair or kind of sticking your leg out to trip me over, you know, those kind of things, you know, who's going to do that now? Who me. Mr Foster, he had the biggest heart, he cared about everyone, not only the most academic, he saw the good in everyone, he was such a jolly person, such a good atmosphere to have around school. After going for lots of cricket matches with Mr Foster, this is what we've learnt. 
Mr. Foster, just really miss our little conversation as I used to go upstairs to E8 running to my lessons. Um, just always, always used to um, just give me a compliment and it used to make my day, so I really, really miss that. We love you, Mr. Foster. We love him. We miss you, Craig.